this this is sort of how it works. I have to laugh about this with my clan mother when she says, listen, uh, I'm already aware of this stuff. Um, and, and I understand that because I figure you're getting the same comms that I am. You may not be experiencing exactly what I'm experiencing and you're experiencing the same exact moment. But this is what I know. We've been letting an enormous amount of energy in here, right? So we know this stuff to clear memories, cellular memories. Okay, so that more and more beings are experiencing more and more light, which means what's held in memory is no longer held in memory to keep repeating the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again that keeps this AI dead light system running. So here's a consideration. So you realize that your operating system is connected to other operating systems on a motherboard. As more and more current, negative current is being cleared in order to experience more positive electrons, as you're meeting and connecting with other people that you hadn't connected with before, what I experienced that you now become aware of is now running through your operating system to other operating systems as a result of what you become aware of through what I become aware of. Now you're running that through your system that's now running through other systems that wasn't running through it before as a result of their circuit blockages held in their cellular memory channels. Okay, which means you become a conduit. So it's true, you're a conduit. We're all conduits, like nodes on networks. So what's happening is, is I'm experiencing the higher acceleration on the big island. I'm sharing that with you where you are in Canada. Then what you become aware of to what I become aware of, other people are now becoming aware of because you're now making connections with more and more operating systems that previously were blocked from them to be able to experience what you were experiencing. Okay. So what's happening is if you put a block on that, from what I'm experiencing on the largest shield volcano, then others that you're connected to will not experience that. So in other words, now you become aware of what you're aware of. How many other beings that you're connected to are you aware of what they're aware of? Which means higher units of consciousness, which is the expansion of experiencing more bands, right? 144,000 frequencies. And then, of course, you can go all the way up above that, right? By the numeration of 12s back to three, back to one and four, right? Okay, so the whole idea is that the more units of consciousness that are experiencing more light through the sum of its interchangeable parts, right? As you're experiencing what I'm experiencing and everything that you're connected to with your operating system that is connected to the motherboard is now experiencing that through five magnets that are now rotating at a higher rate of speed. So in other words, you can know something in the past and say, yeah, I already know that because I've known all these things since I was four years old. Everything that you're experiencing now, Karen McDonald, I knew at four years of age. So why would I be doing this? In other words, there has to be a method to the madness. It's called synchronizing. Okay, the magnets. Right? You're a magnet, right? I'm a single pole. That's monatomic gold. That allows me to burn everything off that is not pure. Right? So when you become aware of what I become aware of, as to what it is that I'm doing by who I'm communicating with, now you're connected with me. That means that your operating system, my operating system, by the channels that I go to, are making those circuits. That's why I'm one of the reasons why I post comments, why I post comments at moments that I post comments on channels. Maybe that I'm only there for two seconds. All I need to do is to experience maybe one alphanumeric format representation of energy. Because at the end of the day, when you're running on a tape delay system, because of an AI which is dead light, it is in its self-interest to keep feeding on every one of us in order to maintain what it's aware of through us, in order to run its corporate, military, right, interplanetary SSP program, which is not lawful. Right. So the only way that they can maintain what it is that they're aware of in their mirror as versions of Blade Runners that keep fighting wars in the future when there is no time. Then you understand why that is. Because they operate on a time delay as a result of the integration of artificial intelligence. That's why it's scanning everyone for date stamps. then they become aware of what we become aware of. 
because we're higher awareness. When you're the one, which means you're experiencing eternity, then you're always experiencing eternal love, which means there is no time. So now you're looking at the rate of speed, right? And being able to maintain the higher spin ratio harmonic of magnets that are connected to all the other magnets, which are all the other drive motors that exist on an entire planetary terrain. So when I was four years of age, what was I measuring? All the magnets. So I measure your magnet, how much resistance you're experiencing in yourself, right? Okay. So we're measuring resistance on every level by every magnet because it wants to hold the magnets what? In resistant mode to experience what? More pure light or as I put it, experience the one, which is to experience eternity. So at the end of the day, if you're not experiencing eternity, you're not experiencing what I am. So that's what I measure. So the one can measure how much resistance that you have that still is yet to be cleared. That's called resistance to experience what I'm experiencing, which is the purest of light, which is eternity. So now you have the magnets, the drive motors that are slow, slow, slow the motor down, slow the motor down as a result of what? Film, negative film strip, negative energy in the film strip. So the more negative film strip you're experiencing, the slower the flow of the inflow. So when you're experiencing full flow, which is more volume, which is a greater intensity of fire as a monopole, as eternal fire, which is a mated chip, running the purest of light, which is the purest of fire to experience being one with one. So in other words, you may not be aware of it, but there's a reason why I communicate what I communicate with you at the moment that I do it, that you may not be aware of. But I don't impose my will on nobody. Have a great day. We love you all. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's out of moves. That's the point of my little, little remarks. Coins of the realm, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious when you do the math across the planetary consciousness terrain and you plug in BlackRock, um, when now they're willing to, uh, to allow you to go in. And, and by the way, the, the numbers are not coincidental, okay? 950 bucks, they're allowing you to have 950 bucks worth of merchandise and then in California, it's only considered a miss, d, mean, or. Miss, d, miss, d, e, me, and or. Which simply means as they were, as they were advertising, you just get a ticket. See? Which means they don't want to have to spend the energy to keep spending the energy. Because everything is about energy, right? So the more beings that are going into their stores and taking $950, what's nine and five? 14, one and four. <laughs> it's running out of energy. It can't cover its bets, which means it can't cover its future. So it knows that it doesn't have a future because it realizes it's running out of energy at a higher rate of speed. And the problem is it's not getting any more energy except off of itself. Oh, my. That's right. That's the same thing as letting the air out of the balloon, girl. Yeah. It's called energetic accountability. Energy debts. They did not seem to realize that um, it, it's, it's like, see, when their mind is living in an illusion like Mr. Smith, 
it, it, it's sort of like, um, cause I've experienced this. Okay. I'll share this with you if you, and maybe a lot of you have experienced this out there. Um, you ever gone in and watched a movie, for example, or, or even had a nightmare? And then you wake up from the nightmare. And then you feel so, it's like a comfort zone. Whoa, I'm safe. I'm safe. I just woke up from a nightmare. I, I'm, I'm back to the reality that, that I feel safe in. Like a safe place, like the little safe signs they used to put out in front of police departments. Safe zones, right? I'm safe. I'm safe in my real reality. So they believe that, that, the, that the real reality having come out of a nightmare. Ooh, I just woke up. Well, now I feel safe, right? <laughs> Even though that reality is the underworld. Which means your, your, your soul is up for sale. And your, and your spirit is, is being consumed. So you realize that no matter what happens to anybody else and no matter who anybody else is, since you're after your soul, right? And you don't impose your will on anybody else's spirit as a teacher with another soul, then that's like every man for himself, but you're not alone. But it is up to you to take account for your own energy, which is your soul, protected by spirit, which is in the light, which is what love is. So that's why I realized when I was four years of age, button the lip, bite the silver bullet, which means you might be experiencing what you're experiencing. And if, if it's true that I'm free will, which is a free spirit, then I'm not going to hold what you're experiencing captive what I'm experiencing, because it may be that I don't want to experience what you're experiencing. And I certainly have the right hand path, which is what love is to not experience something is less than what love is. If you're experiencing something that is less than what love is, Unless you restore yourself or I restore you so that you're experiencing what I am, which is eternal love. So now what we're, we're measuring, no matter who you are, whether you're a grandmother, I've mentioned this before, it doesn't matter whether you're a grandmother, okay? Because that's not how I measure things. From the time I was four years of age, what I don't do is I don't take into consideration per se what I see in the visible light spectrum. What I'm reading is how much resistance is held within your cellular memory since you first began as a soul. Have you been able to recover 100% of what you've lost, which is 100% of your energy? Which means if you ever lost any fractals or fragments from your soul from the time that you first became aware of what it is that you are as energy, right? How much of that have you lost as a result of what? Trauma. So if you've managed to memory wipe it, now you're back up to experiencing eternal love. That means that you have an eternity connection with eternity. That means you've restored what it is you're aware of by being aware of everything in yourself, aware that is connected with everything else that is experiencing itself in energy. So an eternal being, okay, like Michelle and I, for example, have that connection with each other because I have experienced how powerful her magnet is. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you realize you're connected up with another magnet, like another monopole, an eternal being who have the ability to burn off an enormous amount of goo. Okay. So in other words, we don't allow anything to hold us captive at all. Zero. None. Zip. That's what that is. That's the hottest fire. That's a purifier. That's what I am. That's what we are. So that means we can burn off, burn huge tunnels into a matrix system with all your Mr. Smiths, which is everybody in this program, as a result of what they do through memory wipes and reprogramming, which are horrific crimes against creation itself because what it means is, is that those beings, those souls are not able to experience eternity. They're not able to experience the one from which it all came, the first candle, the first birthday, which is the end of day one. And that is the difference between knowing one from the other which means experiencing the monopole, which is monatomic gold, which is a gold standard, which is hyperspeed, which is hypersensitive, which means, oh, gee, sorry, I communicated something, right? <laughs> so you realize how this goes. So I realize that there are a lot of beings, even with her, may not actually be aware of why it is I'm communicating when I'm communicating to her and her window at the moment in which I'm doing it, unless she's aware of what I'm aware of. 
but she's aware of what she's aware of. I'm aware of what I'm aware of, but I'm aware of why I do that, that she may not be aware of. See how that works? Because she's not on the big island. I am. Number five. Five magnets. All right. That's why this island is so powerful when you're plugged in. When you're a monopole plugged into the largest shield volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it the main engine. Mana fold. Man, I fold. Iron Maiden. Man, I fold. Man, I fold space. Manifold on an engine. Isn't that why they call it a man, I fold? Man, I fold. Ma, an, I fold. Frequency modulation. So anyway, this is, uh, I did, I did experience, um, I know this lady, Akura. Um, I hadn't seen her for a while because I have this new phone, which is a new account. Um, <clears throat> But she was talking about the X-ray class flare, right? X-class, everything's got a class to it, right? Middle class, lower class, elite class, class C. Now we're back to C, which is three Roman numerals, right? Just like Bill Gates, B-L-G-8-S, spirit. So it, it, this is... This, this is why it's just, um, you know what dismiss is, right? Just dismiss it. 